Hello friends, Yossi here. Today we're going to talk about Toronto's top 5 penthouses, top 5 most expensive penthouses for sale. And what does it mean to uh, buy a penthouse? Why would someone buy a penthouse? What's the reason for it? Well, there's a couple. First of all, you know, like why would Yossi, why would someone spend 5 or 8 or 10 or 30 million dollars on a penthouse? Well, there's a few reasons. Number one, it's a store of value, okay? When you have so much money and you need to put it somewhere, you're going to find something very safe to put it in. And what's better than a penthouse to put your money in? I mean, if you have $10 lying around, $10 million lying around, you probably have more than 10, 20, 30, 100, 200, a billion. Okay, so putting your money in real estate, that's what, you know, most people that come to a lot of money quickly do. Uh, superstar, rock and roll star, people that sold the companies, uh, people that uh, went uh, public and made a billion dollars overnight, kind of, kind of that kind of thing. A lot of uh, some uh, crypto guys, maybe not so much these days, but before they were, you know, uh, developers will buy panels from other developers just, just to make an investment and kind of support their friends, uh, okay? Uh, a second reason, of course, is, is, a, is a status symbol, right? You want to show the world that you've made it, you've done really well, so there's the panels, um, okay? It's probably a great place to host friends, but it's probably a great place just to, you know, have a great retreat from the city in your own little private oasis up in the sky, so that's what I'm talking about, okay? Uh, this is my Twitter. Um, I post here uh, everything that really comes. So if you want to see the quick updates, go on the Twitter because I don't have time to blog everything and definitely not to email everything. But that's the Twitter, so follow at Yossi Kaplan. Um, this is my YouTube channel, currently on dark mode. Do you like it? Uh, and this is my channel where you're watching this video. Please subscribe. Uh, give me some thumbs up. A nice comment, ask any question you like, I will respond, I respond to all the comments, okay? And thank you very much everyone that's so far been so supportive and send me emails and texts and calls about Yossi, we love your video. So that's great. I'm, I'm just telling you what I think, you know, I'm, I'm sharing with my experience growing up in the business of engineering and construction and then becoming a real an investor first and then a realtor myself and working with a lot of investors, you know, like people that want to buy and sell, they come to me and I talk to them. Should, should you do this deal? Should you buy? Should you sell? What's a good price for it? And so on and so forth. And then we go find the good properties and sign the deals. Okay? Uh, and then, you know, if you bought your investment property, we can rent it out for you. We can flip it and so on and so forth. Okay. We are going to my website, yorkvilleluxuryrealestate.com. This is the website where I put my uh, kind of fancy stuff, the luxury stuff, the over a million stuff. Uh, and the other one, Urban Realty Toronto, is, of course, what everything goes in there. Okay? And today I posted the top five Toronto penthouses for sale. So let's dive right in it, uh, take a look at the link, and see what we're talking about, okay? So here we go. Dark mode here. I, I, let me know if you like the dark mode. It's, it's an extension right here. Okay. So uh, this is 224 King West, but before we're going to get to number five, and that's 3600 Young Street, penthouse 34. This place is wicked. It's uh, uptown. It's done up like Louis the <laughs> Eighteenth, and it's definitely uh, an older style, a more kind of you know grandiose style, very European. You know, for somebody like the ornamentation and the marble and all the little details, that could be really good. The location is also right here. I prepared it. So here we are, thirty-six hundred uh, Young Street. It's a large condo building, and you can actually see. Some of these penthouse units right here. Thank you, Google. So these are massive penthouses. They have giant terraces and they face uh, the trees. Obviously, this is this is the Google trees, but you know, there are trees and you're right on Young Street, so pretty good to get uh, right down here to downtown or if you need to get anywhere else, 401 is just next door. Okay, so that is 3600 uh, Young Street. And if you want to see all the penthouses, okay, all you got to do is click on this link here, which will take you to this link at the bottom here, which is Toronto Penthouses. And once you click on this link here, let's open it in a new tab, I think they do anyways, and that's dark mode, but I'll, I'll brighten up, oh, we go. Uh, and this will send you right to the page where I already preset all the filters to search for the penthouses in, in Toronto and default is sorting by highest price. Because I think if you're looking at penthouses, you know, it's not about the money. It's really about what can you get. Um, so no spoiler alert here, but there we are, 3600 Young Street. There it is, 4.899 million asking. You can dig in here and see what it's got. It's got a little private pool in here. 
Some nice kitchen and chandelier, a library. These are the penas as we saw from above. The terraces, pretty nice. Um, you you know, you're up in the air, but because you're on the hill, facing the hill, kind of the top of the hill, you're like in nature. I love it. Okay, so this one's got two beds, five baths, about 5,000 square feet. The, the terrace, pretty large, about 3,000 square feet here. So you can get more information here. And if you need more info, just hit this form here. You could also, if you like to keep notes on the system, it's going to ask you to log in at some point. You can tick what you like here, like that, or change it, whatever. And it'll save it for you in the My Notebook section here. Okay, so that's 3600... <clears throat> That's 3600 Young Street, um, 4.899 million at today's price, today's asking. Next, we're moving on to this lovely building that I really like, and it's called Theater Park. Theater Park is a 224 King West right across from Roy Thompson Hall. And this building is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a little residence pool on the seventh floor facing south, facing King. Uh, the units are real nice done. This was developed by Brad Lamb, Lamb Development. Um, Brad's been doing some beautiful stuff in, in town and you know I have uh, a lot of respect for him and uh, this is this is the uh, penthouse that he's uh, offering for sale now he takes the entire floor it's done up real good uh, 5.98 million dollars 5 million 980 so 6 million dollars if you want to see it uh, we just go back to the search with the penthouse search and we'll just scroll here and there she is it's a really gorgeous, unique, unique building. You can go to the video tour here. You can see all the information, and you can really dig in. You know, the elevator opens right into the unit, right into your suite. There's a nice uh, wine cellar. Everything is done up real good here. It's ultra modern, really beautiful, kind of sharp lines, but very fun too. Okay, so if you want to see more, just go here, 5.98 million. More information here. You can take some notes. And again, I love the condition. I'm giving this a okay. Taxes are expensive, but if I have six million dollars, I don't really care. <laughs> so there you go. Okay. If you wanted to know the taxes, uh, I think it's here. If it doesn't show, you can call me and, and I'll let you know. But that's about it. You can also assume about one percent of the purchase price, uh, but that's not always true, especially with these kind of numbers. Uh, this penthouse is 3,270 square feet. Uh, it's got a 360 degree, that means you can walk around, and the terrace is over 20, 2,100 square feet. Four parking spaces, okay? On and on and on. This is a really gorgeous place, and I absolutely love the multi-outdoor space on the 47th floor. I mean, that is gorgeous. Take me home. All right. Uh, next, I'm moving to the Bond Condos at 2 90 Adelaide. Um, let's just retract here, for example. Let me show you 224 King West. Okay, so here's the building. Wow, look at that. Let's go to the 3D and pull out a bit, maybe just out a bit more, and then we can see where we are. So there's Roy Thompson Hall right here. That's King Street, okay? And we're looking north now. Okay, we're looking north. So let's turn around, looking east. Southeast, there's the water. The location is just perfect. There's Shangri-La right here, 65 stories. Nelson Street, that's where we are. It's a beautiful, slim, slender building, and the penthouse is right on top here. This is just amazing. Okay, uh, and we can really go around, and I just love playing with these, uh, with these maps here. So here's 224. It pops up everything that he finds around. There's the CN Tower, Toronto Island. That's a place to be. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go back here to 290 Adelaide. It's pretty close. Watch this. Uh, directions. Switch those. 290 Adelaide. Not a good typer. Okay. So we are really, really close here. Okay. And let's look at Adelaide right here. Okay. No, that is not the bond. This is the bond right here. There we go. And there you go. Now, this is a bit of an older picture you can see because it still shows that the building is incomplete. 
but that's where you are. And you're basically very, very close to the previous building um, in, on the same block, more or less. You know, I would, I would consider all these downtown, okay, because they are between Young and uh, Spadina. For me, that's downtown. So here's one. Here's the second. Fantastic. Look how close you are. Move it more. Oh, I'm stuck now. All right. Well, there you go. Okay, so that's where we are. Uh, that's Adelaide. Okay, that is the Lamb development. So they're, they're, you know, 300 meters apart, not even. Here's the CN Tower. Fantastic. And when I go back to yossi.searchrealty.co, you got the link there. And I go to um, 290 Adelaide. The asking price is 6.8 million dollars. 290 Adelaide, Penthouse One, that's a newer picture here. It's got a nice, more narrow um, balcony slash terrace, but still lots of space. Beautiful views. You're like, you're way, way up there, okay? You're way, way up there. This place is just gorgeous. It's done up really, really well. You know, this is one of the top, top developers in town. Uh, welcome to the Bond Penthouse Suite. So you got... 3,568 square feet with three bedrooms, four bath, and just over 1,900 private rooftop terrace. That is pretty good, my friends, okay? And you can see here the rest of the information, uh, 42 stories, and the scorecard, I'll take it for 6.8. Okay, <laughs> all right, great. Uh, the next one, number two, is 500 Wellington Penthouse 1001. Now, this is a really unique building. This was built by Free Developments uh, years back um, when they were still building all of King West, and that was kind of a unique building where you only find half floors for the first few floors and then full floors for the, for the top. I forget how many, it's three or four or five floors. There's only 10 in total, as you can see. This penthouse takes the entire floor, and that is the private pool for the penthouse. I know it looks like the fashion house pool and it looks like the Thompson pool, but no, it, you don't have the fob for that. Only the owner of the penthouse has the fob for this one, okay? So we're gonna move to uh, King West. So just go west of here. And uh, let's put here 500 Wellington Street West. Thank you, Google. And there we are, right down here, okay? So you look here, and what do you see? You see, this is Wellington. Let me go closer. Okay, that's Wellington. That's very good. That's 508. There's a penthouse here for sale, too. Not as expensive. That's 75 Portland. Okay. Um, here's the bean market. Hamam Spa. This is where 620 King coming. We know with uh, Shopify. All of King West. Okay, there's Fashion House in the pool. And there's the little pool here for the penas, which takes the entire floor. Isn't that amazing? You can actually look almost right at people's places and to see what's going on. So this is the unit right here. It takes the entire space, okay? That's the Marvin restaurant. And here you will find, you know, the giant space here is becoming the well in King West. And there we are. So what I like about this panel is it's really tucked away, but you're right in the core of King West. You run in the center of everything, but it's quiet, it's beautiful, it is very, very private, it's kind of unassuming. I really like it, okay? 6.8 million, this unit is yours. 6.895, okay? So here we go. Now, these numbers here are live numbers. So if you revisit the page, if you see a different number, that's because the price was revised. And if you do not see the unit, that means it's off the market. It's either been sold or rented or off the market. Somebody moved in there. It's just not no longer in the system, what we call off the market. Nonetheless, sometimes units are off the market, but you can still buy them. So you know, if you're looking for this uh, product like this, whether it's $7 million or $1 million, you know, just give me a call. I'll help you to find it. Um, this one has about 3,900 square feet of living space and 2,200 square feet of private terrace with the pool that I showed you. It's got high ceilings. It's really, it's, it's an uber modern place. You can see like the, 
the kitchen is all built ill. This is enough to feed a, little, a small army, these fridges. <laughs> this is a great kitchen. I'd love to cook a dinner here. And that's 75 Portland uh, on one side. And here's the elevator opening right into your own unit. Okay, and in these pictures, the unit is unfurnished. And it was probably when it snowed a bit. So the pictures are mixed. This was on the from the summer. Okay. And drum roll number one, my friends. Right now, most expensive penthouse for sale in Toronto, the top five. Number one is 16 Harbor Street, unit 5401. Now, this one's asking 725. Let's take a look here. 725, okay? What's so unique about it? Let's take a look. So be, first thing I do, always, 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 and look on the map because I'm a realtor, and realtors, you know, it's all about location, so I look on the map. So here we are, and we're right here. So we are actually here in the south core, okay? That's the unit. You can see it. We are in the south core. Wow, that's pretty good. Um, we're not even on King West or way up by Yang Street, if we look at number five, we're right here at the South Core, we're very, very close to the water, and this is one of the fastest developing areas in Toronto. Now remember, the Google pictures are not always up to date, so all these area here, you know, if it's not filled already, it will be filled, okay? Uh, the Google Town coming right around here, I think, the Google Sidewalk, and Sugar Beach and all these buildings here, it's a lot of this stuff is already done. You know, the, the sugar factory is leaving and um, a lot of stuff here, except for the old, the fir very first condos at the, at the harbor front. But the rest is uh, renewed and it's really beautiful. So the South Core has really become a mecca for downtown executives, people that are working right here in the towers and they basically just go under they walk under, they walk under the street here, and they walk to work, okay? And they probably have, you know, if you if you're living here, at the penthouse here, okay, you're either an executive, so you you flying right out, so you're either flying right off the city airport right here, or you're just taking uh, the train right out of Union, and you're going to Pearson Airport. Okay, I lost my bearings there. Okay. Here's, here's uh, Rogers Center, I still call it Sky Dome, the CN Tower, okay? So this is where you are. It's an uber, uber, urban, renewable urban area. Um, I think the reason for 725 is, first of all, because we can, because we've reached the point in Toronto where we can charge 5 and 6 and 9 and 10. And there are condos in town, you know, for, I've seen one listing, for $28.5 million, but I don't think it's a top unit. That's for that's why it didn't show up as a penthouse when I did the search. But it is there, and you can look for it. Um, or ask me where the link is, okay? But this is 16 Harbor, and it's it's a part of this pod of buildings here, okay? And this is just gorgeous, and you're right by the water. So if you like to be by the water, you like the south core, you like the proximity to the subway, and maybe you're a travel executive, and you want to just come home, and do your thing, and maybe you're hosting the meeting in your house, that's a pretty good option, okay? So Toronto has a lot to offer. All these towers, you know, at the very top, if the developer is smart and courageous, or in simple English, if they have balls, they're going to take the top floor and make it into a pet house. So I really want to congratulate and thank each and every developer here and everywhere, you know, that took an entire floor and took the vision and is willing to build some kind of a property like that and say, you know what, I don't care how long it takes me to sell it, I'm just going to do it because that's what it is. And by adding uh, this top, top unit to your building, you're actually adding a lot of essence to your building, okay? Because people realize that you actually believe in your own stuff. So I want to encourage developers and buyers and agents because a lot of industry people are listening to these videos you know put put the luxury units in really put them in because you know there's not too many of them but the impact they create on the city in terms of design and livability and longevity is huge you know when you have a super uber luxury unit in your building the entire building lifts with it the studios, the one bedrooms, the one plus dens, the two beds, the three beds, they all gain. Everyone benefits from that. 
And that's why I think it's very, very important to have high-end penthouses in Toronto. Okay? That's what we're talking about. So it's not only about, wow, look at this penthouse, it's 5,000 square feet, it's $8 million. It's actually setting the bar for Toronto to become a world-class city. So if we saw a lot, uh, you know, and it's not like many more, because you can only have, you know, one penthouse, a full floor, the top floor of a building. So the price doesn't even matter. You know, I, we just found five now, okay? And obviously, if you go, this is the penthouse search. Uh, if you click on the filters, you can see well, I've pre-selected all the Toronto links, which are covering all the Toronto Center C, plus uh, immediate west uh, around High Park there, um, which is 1, 2, and then E1, which is Queen East. And I, I just kept it there, and I put the keyword penthouse, okay? I put one minimum of a bath just to make sure it's residential. I don't really need the minimum price here because I'm searching by highest, but that's the search. Now, if you want to see what's the latest listing for a penthouse, okay. So, One Harbor Street, uh, unit uh, 2 SPH 203, 2.7, 2 on and on and on. Here, they forgot to put the address, but we can see here, 55 King West, okay. Uh, and you know, their penthouse is for 700, 800, 574. So there's there, there's a lot of choices. There's a penthouse on Queen West for 529 at the Epic Building, okay? So a lot of choice here, and it's really important to understand that penthouse does not have to be expensive, but it's got, it's got a reason. There's a reason to buy the penthouse. The cheapest penthouse right now in the system, at least the marked as penthouse, is 475, and it's a studio. Now, as a developer, I would never, ever put a studio or a small unit on a penthouse floor. You should put the, your best units, your best designs, minimum of 10-foot ceilings. I really like to see 11 and 12 and even 16 double-story ceilings because I think that's the most important, okay? That's the most important. When you make your penthouse, you make your mark as a developer. So if you're a developer and you're listening to this, make your penthouse to last many years, just go all out on your penthouse. And it doesn't mean it, it needs to be a little crazy, you know I mean? These are nice homes, that's a great home, that's a great home, yes, it's a different style than what we used for, you know, the Uber Sleek Modern, but it's a great home. It's really just a home in the sky, right? And don't forget this one's looking over green, the hill. Um, I just absolutely love this, okay? That's kind of my style, if you ask me, I'll go here. Um, this is a great for like a downtown executive. I can see like an internet millionaire in here, you know, overlooking everyone else. Um, this is definitely for like a designer, artist, architect, rock and roll star, okay? And this is another one of those. I think there'll be like an executive, a banking person, uh, internet millionaire, import, export, one of these guys, okay? Or, or, or when I say guys, I don't mean like a male or female, just a person, okay? So that's what it is. Um, in this website, you know, I post the top stuff. So if you come here, it's kind of fun to see uh, what I got. The older posts are a little different, but I now post high-end stuff here because I think it's nice to differentiate and put it put it there. Okay. So these are these are the top five penthouses for Toronto, starting at 4.899, say five million, and all the way to. 7.25 million, so it's not that bad, you know, if you, if you divide this by uh, reduce 30% to get more or less American rate, it's actually a lot cheaper, you'll never find anything like this overlooking Central Park, just forget about it, you know, so for, the, for this kind of money, it's double and triple digits in New York, so this is pretty cheap still, and remember developers, you need to buy, you need to build more penthouses, because when you build more penthouses, you're doing a favor to the city, and you're doing a favor to yourselves because you're upping your own cachet, okay? You're really showing us that you're willing to take the risk and you believe in your own product and you're willing to actually put your name on and say, yes, I built this building and I'm not afraid to put a $5 million penthouse here or a $10 million penthouse here. So I, I, I really want to congratulate these developers. And, you know, all these buildings here, you do not see the roofs are used, you know, I think that the roof should be used either for the community, if they're large enough, or if they're tall and narrow, put the penthouses in there, you know, and that's what you do. I mean, here's Fashion House, you know, is one of the best uses. I think the pool's slightly too large, actually, 
and you should have more space here, but still, and these are, these are terraces already, okay, for the units, but this is a great use of space, okay, and so on and so forth. So you want to use the most space you got for your penthouses and for your communities, okay? So that's it for today. Uh, build more high-end product. Build a lot more. I said before, Canada needs a million beds. Ontario needs at least 250 beds, but 1,000 beds, but I think Ontario probably needs half of those. So Ontario needs half a million new homes. When I say homes, it could be condos, it could be apartment rentals, it could be houses, it could be townhouses, but we need a lot more, okay? And the only way to, to curb down uh, the crazy prices is one, um, by building more, two, by building more, and three, by building more, okay? When we raise in interest prices, um, you know, that triggers inflation. So anyone that is collecting taxes, like the banks and the governments, they gain, but we do not, okay? So the only way to do it is to simply build more, to build quality, to build design, and to build excellent penthouses because they benefit everyone, even the guy who buys the cheapest studio at the end of the city, okay? They will gain too because, you know, the Velcro it apparently was invented in the 60s, uh, to patch up astronaut spacesuits, but now we use it in our shoes. So all this innovation, the innovation always trickles down. You know, the internet was invented for the army in the 60s by DARPA in the States. But now we all use internet on our phones, okay? But it's really military technology. So build more, okay? Build better, better designs, better materials. Put the best you got in technology, material, design, and engineering into your buildings and especially into your penthouses that will make the technology more available to everyone else, reduce the, um, you, you know, reduce the price and, in, and increase the acceptability. And everyone gains by that. So that's, I think, the most important lesson from here. And of course, if you're buying or selling real estate in Toronto, Brantford, or Hamilton, and also Guelph, Kitchener, Waterloo, I'm getting a lot of calls for these areas, give me a call, Yossi Kaplan, You'll see up.